Hello YouTube and welcome to another video another video tutorial on Kiko's flight tutorial YouTube channel and on today's video I will be demonstrating turn and climb climb and turn and let's start right now I'm flying along the Long Island um, coast heading east and we are roughly around 3220 feet and we're in straight level flight heading, heading 090 <coughs> and let's start by demonstrating a uh, right turn okay so right now I'm heading 090 just about 090 and I'm going to demonstrate a right turn to 180 which is 90 degrees to the right it should be over there and the way we do it is very simple right now there's no autopilot I'm flying this manually okay first thing I do I look at my heading okay I look at my, my altimeter how high I am and my airspeed and attitude indicator which is basically this it makes a T okay so if, after I see where I want to turn I look visually where I want to turn and I, I see what heading I'm currently in and I know where I'm going what heading I'm going to turn to I do a clearing turn for training purposes look. Uh, for training purposes and also f to, to be caught to look out for traffic I say for training purposes because when you're a student pilot the instructor has to do clear and turn but he makes you um, say clear clear left or clear right wherever you turn so I'll, I'll, I'll show you we're going to turn to 180 I mean 190 I look right no traffic, no traffic and I, I'm clear right start smooth right turn I use 20 degrees of bank bring my nose up just a little bit I'm coming up on 190 and I start level 190 and, and I start level enough and I bring the nose down just a little bit to maintain altitude. Right now we just made a 90 degree turn to the left, to the right. We are heading currently 180, 185, roughly around 180, and maintaining our altitude. I'll show you the turn to the left. I look at my heading. I know where I'm going to turn. I see my speed, my altitude. I look left. No traffic. Traffic clear left. Bank the wings left. I use 20 degrees of bank. I'm gonna up just a little bit to maintain, try to maintain the house. Coming up at 090, start leveling off. I'm leveled off at 090. Okay, those are your standard turns. That was, that was a standard turn to the right and a standard turn to the left. Okay, now I'll show you guys how to do perform a climb. How to climb. First things first, check our power setting. We're currently around 2200 RPM, this instrument right here. And, um, we want to climb, let's say we're at 3,300, let's climb up to 4,000 feet. Well, let's climb to 3,700 to, so we don't have to consume them that much time. Okay, look at my power setting, add power, let's add full power. Bring the nose up, just a little bit. And here we can see that we're climbing, shown by our by our um, 
vertical speed indicator and our our altimeter so that we are climb we are level and zero nine zero and climb we are currently at three thousand six hundred coming up to our desired altitude of three thousand seven hundred start running the power back push the all down And that is how you perform a climb. Now let's do a descent. What we want to do is bring the power back. Now we're going to descend back to 3,300 and slightly push the nose down. Notice how I descend and climb around 700 feet per minute. That is um, very comfortable and you feel very comfortable in the airplane when you are climbing or, des or descending at 700 and it does look quite fast we are at 3400 coming up in a desired alt alt altitude we add power and we start Bring the nose up, and there we go. Now, let me show you guys a uh, uh, effect that I forgot to mention. Sorry about about what happens when you climb and you descend, and, and why you have to add power. If I keep the power at 2100, shown on our RPM right here, you can see that when we start climbing our airspeed starts dropping and eventually will cause the airplane to stall okay that's what happens when we start climbing so we add power to try to maintain the, the speed when we descending like now the airspeed increases and we don't want to go too fast because we might over speed or over stress the airplane and that is why when we descend we reduce the power so we try to maintain our, uh, our airspeed and when we climb we add power okay thank you for watching this video tutorial hope this has been very helpful and if you like what you see stay on this channel subscribe and i'll be up the, up the uploading future tutorials Thanks for watching.